Thank you for taking the time to talk. I really appreciate it. Camille, I know you've been singing with Sister Sledge for a, a while now, but I was hoping mm -hmm. you, you guys could talk about how this new family project came together. It came together just by always, you know, being around, being about, and, and I sometimes would do a show here and there with my mom and my aunts, um, especially when Joni was alive. But actually I've performed with um, Kathy, Kim, um, because they all actually still perform as well. After um, Joni passed, there was mom and Tanya and mom told me, hey, you want to come back and do some shows and then we'll have a third, you know, front singer. And I said, of course, you know, and then it just kind of stuck. My cousin, which is Joni's son, Thaddeus, and my brother, David, also were singing and they were doing background vocals with the group. And once we all just came together on tour, it was so much fun and so such a great energy on stage together and such a good connection as a family it was we just it stuck and we started saying that it was so legendary that we <laughs> <laughs> legendary <laughs> family uh adventures and that kind of stuck yeah. with us too <laughs> yeah we started doing legendary tv and stuff like that well but yeah it was really mm -hmm. a you know and also a a dream of mine i saw how how talented these 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 guys are. And I said, okay, this is their time. They have to shine. And I want them to officially get out there. And um, so uh, we, we had this concept that uh, okay, let's come together with, you know, the old with the new, I'll say old. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But it's, it's very exciting. It's a very exciting thing. I'm, I'm, I'm seeing it. I'm seeing that dream come true. Was there like a sort of instant family chemistry with the voices blending? No, it's it, no problems whatsoever. Mainly, it's just, uh, just we're just having fun. I mean, I'm I'm actually I'm a I'm a vocal arranger. So is Camille, as you know, she's she's an excellent songwriter and vocal arranger. But as a vocal arranger, and I've been doing this for so many years, I've experienced so many different vocal talents. And these guys are, they're so easy to work with. I'm, it's almost like I'm, I'm conducting an orchestra. I just having fun. I, yeah, I have all kinds of instrumentation around me with these, <laughs> these um, great vocalists. So it's just so much fun. Now, what do you feel like incorporating the next generation of sledge talent into the group? What what impact has that had on the the uh, vibe or the, the 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 music, the feel of everything? Oh, uh, especially as well. Besides the, the fun we're having, and there's just the joy of being doing things together. The music, the impact of the music is phenomenal. It's and I'm so excited about it because I want to hear all that they have, you know, and they have new ears, they have um, uh, new concepts for the music. And uh, we've always been, especially my sister Joni, who, who passed away, such a producer. And she was always interested in all genres of music. She would incorporate that into our live shows and in our in our music that she was creating and music that we were creating together. That was an important aspect. She always had a very world vision. And this is also her vision coming true because we have this generation, music is not separate anymore. It's kids are listening to everything from all over the world and all genres and all genres yeah and there's no one genre and back in the day we were kind of stuck into one genre and producers or record record execs didn't want to hear anything different than what they had in mind for that artist and the artist is is uh um, multi artist. yeah <laughs> right there are multi facets to creativity <clears throat> and so that's what we're able to do with this with this group. Now, what, was it difficult at first to keep Sister Sledge going after um, 
losing your sister. Could you talk about the impact of that on your, your music? And yeah, your life? yeah. It, it, it's, it, it's difficult in, in the sense that uh, there's, a, there's a huge, you know, there's a huge void of someone who was such a such a that's a big force such a right large, i was going to use the word big enough but you used it for me yeah such a a vast big personality and a big force i mean she had a strong force of life in her a strong determination i always use the word uh, she was a powerhouse and she really was mm-hmm. could you talk a bit about growing up in a musical family like that and and how your sisters and you came to to form a group and then launch this career at such a young age? Yeah, I, I always say that it just happened. It was a happening because we started out just enjoying singing and playing around, playing around in the mirror with brushes. <laughs> we were the Supremes. <laughs> That's how I started. <laughs> OMG. <laughs> <laughs> I was trying to be like you. Our, our sister Carol had us, you know, of course we were her backing vocals. <laughs> <laughs> that was our older sister Carol. Uh-huh. And um, uh, we just had fun and it developed. And uh, as we also in school and in church and our mom, our grandmother was an opera singer. She taught us songs. So we learned songs from school and from church. And I would, I could remember all of the harmony parts, so I would just teach them to the, to my sisters, and and it was it was a natural thing. We had a natural sister blend. I think I was pretty hard on them back then. I'm better <laughs> now, right? <laughs> yes, mom, you are. <laughs> she cracks the whip, man, Ed. <laughs> I'm honest about it. She's like, no. she goes hard on the rehearsals. We don't say the R word around her because if you say rehearsal, she'll find a time for us to start rehearsing right then. And oh, we'll have a new rehearsal added on. I'm just, <laughs> I'm just so excited because they're, they're, these are great. They're, they have great vo- vocals. They're great. They're great vocalists. We do and so have I a just family like blend. Busting out nice. wherever, whenever we're together. I said, oh, can you try this? And then we just go for it. <laughs> so how does the sound of what you're doing compare to what people think of as like the classic Sister Sledge sound? Is, is, do you see it as an extension of it or as a new chapter or? I do. I, I, I also think that there's a, which we're going back to too, there's a, we're doing a bit of retro also. We're like doing retro combined with, with like pop yeah with like, so so we're taking the best i think the best of 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 those uh, retro sounds those retro melodies i loved i love melodic stuff and i love harmonies and then put that together with some beat, beats that dance that, yeah that are dance. bumping mm-hmm. yeah uh and the and these guys have it all and then they have this they have some you got some hip hop going in there and just awesome so yeah <laughs> and then david david is is doing is doing that hardcore dance yeah. you know club he, mixes in there and so you've got all these different great aspects of a song all the good parts and sticks put them all together and then Mm-hmm. It's like, wow, yeah, this is good. The this one thing good. I can say to the classic Sister Sledge sound is that the, our new our new song, Free, definitely is a dance track. It's definitely going to make you dance. It's definitely a happy message. And it definitely is energetic, you know, to where, to me, every time I hear it, it makes me smile. That is a nice um, honor to sister sledge you know to the classic sister sledge because yeah um, it does pay homage it makes you to that happy. dance and, and that's that what happiness yeah could, could you talk a bit about the advantage and appeal of performing with family oh uh, so yeah. much fun like i said you don't feel you feel at home in most of the situations where sometimes you might not feel at home like you don't want to play around too much at a rehearsal 
<laughs> but <laughs> you definitely, <laughs> I'm just joking, mom. I'm joking. You don't want to play around too much at a rehearsal, but at our rehearsals, I do end up having fun. It always ends up turning into something that was fun. And um, you still love music when you get done with it. <laughs> you still love singing and you still love being yeah. in a group when you're done with I think the difference for me also, well, the, the nice thing for me is um, I'm dealing with such talent that that part is, there's never any, any, uh, in, in uh, what is it? In dis what is the word I'm trying to find? In discrepancies? No, there's, I'm always comfortable. I know it's going to be great. So if there's a mistake, it's like, oh, well, let's just laugh that off because I know you know what you Corrected. did. And I know you know what you did. <laughs> <laughs> I know you know. It'll be like, cut, oh, let's do that again. Yeah, no, no there's, I, well, I just, I, and I find that it's better to keep the atmosphere light, but, um, but uh, intentional. So especially on rehearsals, and we're doing that now. That's one of our key words is intention. We're doing things with intention. I was hoping you could talk a bit about the enduring appeal and impact of We Are Family and, and, and what that means to you to see that song still have this life that's ongoing. And, and yeah, um, it, it's amazing. It's actually mind blowing actually because we're just a we're just a small part of that god took it way beyond us and it's lasted this even the thought that it's still going it's still ongoing i think part of that is is attributed to the fact that it's such an authentic song and everybody can relate to it and it's such an easy song and you know i have to give the props to uh, uh bernard edwards and uh and uh, no, and now Rogers for creating that and their the awesome track that they put you know that on and Kathy does an awesome job as a lead vocalist on that. Um, it's it just took it's a life like you said beyond ourselves. It just has a life of it took a lot took on a life of its own, and it's just amazing to see, and it's bringing so much joy and it continues to do that. So I feel very, very blessed to be a part of that. And I'm, I'm still at all because it's still going. Yeah, that's great. I was a, uh, I was a baseball fan growing up in Pittsburgh when uh, the Pirates adopted that as their uh, yeah, that's awesome. theme song. <laughs> that was awesome. That was another great, oh, wow, mind-blowing moment. We heard... Uh, thousands of people singing We Are Family over the radio while we were in, in Germany. Wow, this is incredible. And then we hear the announcer saying, 50,000 people are singing We Are Family. <laughs> we're like, what? <laughs> Mind blowing. <laughs> that is great. Um, yeah. You said uh, in, in the press uh, release that I saw, you said you want to use the power of music to inspire social change and to champion the core message that nothing is greater than love. I was hoping you could expand a bit on that and how you hope that manifests itself in the music that you're doing. Yeah. So what, what we are doing as, as a group or as a group of artists is we are going out with the message of love. And I think the way we're doing it is through our music and through joy. Joy is contagious. You know, if you're, if you're at, at peace with yourself, if you're happy and you have a smile, that's going to be contagious. Um, I think that we have that. I mean, that's natural because <clears throat> we're, we're, you know, we are a family and we're together and we love each other and we're having such a ball. That's easy. That's the easy part. But I think that once that concept is, once a person has a revelation, you know, you can have, a, a, once you have the revelation of that love, of that joy, 
that you have life, you're, you're, you're breathing, you're living right now. You can, you can, you can, you, it will spread. It'll, it'll, um, take, it'll take hold. Yeah. It'll take hold of, of, of who you are and you have an influence on those around you. You'll have an influence on what the atmosphere around you, you'll have an influence and that is going to bring social change. Also, I, I want to emphasize the core value of the value of family, that if we all at least have a sense of belonging, all of us need that. And you belong to the human family and you certainly belong to us. We are family, okay? <laughs> um, you will be able to, um, you'll be able to give that sense of strength and belonging to those around you. You'll have that atmosphere of influence and that is going to bring about change. That's going to bring about change. You can choose because there's an, there's a, there's so much, there are so many heavy things right now in the air and in the world. Yeah. But you can fight it with that with inner strength, with love, just making a difference where you are and with who you are and the choices that you make. So that's the, the message that we want to, um, to bring. So you have this single coming out in February. Um, what, do, what does the rest of the year look like for this new project? This oh, we're extension of... You go ahead, Camille, because um, I'm talking. So excited. So, um, yeah, so excited about the, the single coming out because we know that it's going to affect all the other things that we do. Um, we've been in the studio a lot, you know, throughout the quarantine. And so we're, we want to just drop a whole album. But right now we're going to start with this single. It's called Free. And it's Ooh. this really joyful song. Yeah. We got merch. I noticed that, yeah. <laughs> we, um, it's a joyful song. Like I said, it's a dance song. It's a continuation of our family legacy and the, you know, the 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 family elements of joy and just the global world family that we, you know, want to continue to build upon and create. And, and we want throughout. to encourage people. We want to encourage mm -hmm. people to let go of stuff that are, that's burdening them. Mm -hmm. Let go of it because it's only as much as you hold on to it. But and so the core thing about our, the song is saying, if you are secure in love, um, you can really, you can deal with anything. Well, thank you very much for uh, taking the time to talk today. Thank, Thank you. you. That's really nice. Take care Thank of yourselves. You. I, I look forward to hearing the continuing uh, rollout of this exciting new chapter. Yes. It's, it's awesome. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. A lot coming. A yes. lot coming.